Hey guys, it's Aaron from Irons Outdoor, and in today's video, I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually in Fort Worth, Texas today. It's probably the second time I've ever been to Texas, but I'm with my dad here, and we are going to the Bassmaster Classic. It's actually Saturday. The Bassmaster Classic started yesterday. We did go yesterday to the expo and the weigh-in, and it's really fun. This is actually my third year in a row going. I mean, it's a blast. Like, if you ever get the chance to go to the Bassmaster Classic, like, it's totally free. The expo's free. The um, weigh-in is free. It's just really fun. So today I'm just going to kind of do a walkthrough video of the expo, kind of show some different booths, and just kind of show what you can expect if you want to go to the Bassmaster Classic. But one thing that's really fun about the Bassmaster Classic Expo is you get a bunch of free stuff. So I'm going to show you some of the free stuff I get today. But first I'm going to show you some of the free stuff that I got yesterday. So here's everything I got yesterday. So not all of this was free. The only three things I bought were these three packs of Nico baits. They had a good deal of like three for twenty dollars, um, and typically these are like you know seven fifty to eight dollars a pack. I really want to try this Nico Hogermite more because you know John from Creek Fishing Adventures, like this is like his all-time favorite lure. He catches everything on it, and he actually caught his personal best bass uh, recently when I was fishing with him on this black Hogermite. So I, I've got to give it more of a shot. I want to catch some more fish on those. And I also saw they had these leeches. These are pretty new, I think, and these just looked really good for either a drop shot or a shaky head. So I decided to pick those up for 20 bucks. But everything else I got here was free. The Nico people actually did give me the new Winnow swim bait for free too, so that was pretty cool. And I got some free hooks, a couple free little floaty things. I got a couple of these um, things to hold your sunglasses around your neck. And at the Berkeley booth, I got a free pack of baits. Those kind of look like a good little drop shot bait. And then at the Academy booth, they have this mystery tackle box thing, which my dad and I might try to go back to today, but it's kind of hard to explain, but you can just like choose a different numbered box and you get whatever is inside the box for free. My dad and I both got this little bass fishing kit, which is like a $40 value. I think it's probably usually like 20, 25 bucks. So that was pretty awesome that we got that for free. And then we also got, you know, a couple cheap bags. They, they give you a bunch of, like, you know, cheap bags with their brands on them. Got a t-shirt, got a hat, and this bag I'm actually really excited about. It's, like, super high quality. This is a Spro bag. Like, it's just kind of like a tote bag. It's not even, like, a cooler bag or anything, but it's just, like, a really nice bag that I think will last a long time. And it's actually, like, really high quality. So, you know, most of the bags they give you are real cheap, but this was pretty cool. So that was everything we got yesterday, but now it's time to head over back to the expo today. Maybe go through everything a little bit, you know, slower today and just show you all some of the new products and it should be a fun time. We need to make this rod again. All right, <laughs> it was yeah. good. I like it. I like it. All right, thank you. Of course, congratulations. Thank you.
As you can tell, I'm not at the expo anymore. Um, I really did not do as much filming at the expo as, as I was planning on doing just because there were so many people there. I didn't really feel like vlogging with just so many people around. So that was still really awesome though. At the very beginning, I saw uh, Tyler from Tyler's Real Fishing and I had seen on his Instagram that was, he was giving away some rods and he was holding some rods. So uh, he asked me a trivia question and I got it right and he gave me a free rod. Like it was a really nice rod. And my dad and I actually went to Home Depot to get like a PVC pipe because we flew here so we're gonna have to like, um, you know, put in a pipe to take it back on the airplane or whatever. But that was pretty awesome. And, but what was even more awesome is that I did not, that was not the only rod that I got for free today. So at the beginning of this video, I did say that I was gonna, I was gonna show some footage at the weigh-in, but my dad and I actually did not go to the weigh-in today because I got this free rod. Um, it's just in this tube, I actually don't know what it is exactly yet. It is a cast king rod, but I don't know like the model or anything. So I'm gonna open it up here in a second, but they didn't let me into the stadium or like the arena it was in because uh, you can't have a fishing rod in there for whatever reason. But still, I'm gonna also, before I open that up, I'm gonna show some of the free stuff I got today. So I ended up getting another one of these bass kits at the Academy booth, um, which is where I got the fishing rod. My, my dad actually got this. He got two of them today instead of one, like when he opened one of the mystery boxes. Um, and this is what it looks like. This was last year's classic. I meant to film it again today, but the mystery box thing was like the exact same. And anyway, that was pretty cool. So he got two of these, so I convinced him to give me one. And in my box was the rod and two of these. So I just gave my dad one of these. He gave me the fishing kit, which is really better. And I, so that, that was a little buff. I also got a couple like a tracker boats buff and a nitro boats buff. Got a little Carhartt koozie. Got a couple Costa sunglasses, like decals. Like These are actually really nice decals. It says they're usually $7. And I don't even know what this is. I got some uh, motor like cleaner. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. Got some AFCO stickers, some Daiwa stickers. And I got this bait. This one was really interesting. You might've seen this earlier. I filmed it at the Berkeley booth. But when I went through the Academy booth, there was like, they had like a few different booths like inside their booth. And one of them was a the Berkeley booth and they just like had a few of these laying around and they gave me one for free so it's some new bait from japan it's like a popper but you put like a one-aught wide gap hook into it so definitely seems interesting you know i don't know how the hookup ratio will be with this compared to a traditional popper with a treble hook but this does make it like totally weedless so i don't know i might have to give it a shot it is a free lure so i'll definitely take it i um, also got a little berkeley hat for free i'm not even a hat person so I really need to do a giveaway eventually of like a lot of stuff I have. Maybe like when I hit like 4,000 subscribers or something. And then I also got this t-shirt. This was not free, but my dad bought it for me. It just says uh, Lake Ray Roberts on the back, uh, Bassmaster Classic. So I got one of these two years ago. I did not get one from last year, but I'd kind of like to have a you know t-shirt from every classic that says what classic it is. It's kind of cool. And the last thing I got for free is this rod. So I don't know what it is. I think based off the packaging, it's a seven foot one rod and it's definitely a two piece because it's in this little tube that's like, I don't know, three feet long or so. I don't have a knife, so I'm just gonna try to open this. All right, I got the tape off. I'm opening it up now. I honestly have no idea like what to expect. I'm assuming they're not giving you like a if they're giving you a rod for free, I'm assuming it's not gonna be super nice, but we'll see, it could be a decent rod. It actually, it looks pretty decent. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a spinning rod. So we'll see what this is. All right, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Let's see, it's got some Fuji guides on there. This is the first look, I have no idea. I am not familiar with uh, Cast King's products. I've never bought anything casting out thanks all right well here's the fishing rod it is the cast king wide eye and it's a seven foot one medium light rod it's got like a fuji reel seat and stuff so it actually seems pretty nice i mean it's not like a you know insanely nice fishing rod but it, i think this could be at least 50 bucks i'm gonna see how much it costs i'm gonna look it up on this uh on or on amazon here in a second but not a bad looking rod. I mean, that's amazing to get this for free. So 
Well, this is pretty amazing. I just looked up how much that cast king rod is. I'll put it on the screen. It was $99.99, so that's a $100 rod for free. The lose rod I got earlier, I mean, it used to be Tyler, so it was used, but it was still like a $140, $150 rod, so that's pretty amazing. I got like $250 worth of fishing rods for free, so that's amazing. It does say it's a walleye rod, which I don't really go walleye fishing that much, but this is definitely the nicest two-piece rod I think I have, so... It might be a good thing to just you know keep in the back of my truck at all times and if I ever see like a good looking spot on the side of the road and I don't have other rods with me I could just take this out and do a little fishing so I think it'll definitely be a pretty good rod for that but that is all I have for you guys in this video this video is definitely a lot more of me like talking in a hotel room than I expected it to be but at least I did you know show some of the Bassmaster Classic and like I said for like three times it was an awesome thing to go to so I hope you all enjoyed this video and still got kind of a good sense of what it's like to go to the Bassmaster Classic Expo, uh, even though I didn't, you know, I didn't show the weigh-in, but the weigh-in is pretty cool too, it's just like uh, the anglers like come in with their boats into the stadium and just like hold their fish up and talk about what they caught the fish on that day, so that's kind of fun to watch too. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to hit, hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, but I'll catch you all on the next video, thanks for watching.